Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating sugar cookie dough. Sugar cookie is a type of rolled cookie. So what I've done already is I've already measured all my ingredients out. I'm just going to show you how to go through the directions. And then I'm going to do day two also. So I've measured out. I have a half cup of butter, which is one stick softened. I have one cup of sugar, granulated sugar. I have one egg cracked in a custard bowl. There's no shells, it's a good egg. I have one and three quarters cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna go with my directions. It's very important that your butter is nice and soft. It's just gonna make it easier to bring your, your mixture together. I've also measured out my flour. You'll see I have one cup and then I did three quarter cups just so I can see it when I check your ingredients or you can do a half cup and a quarter cup to make three quarters. Again, it's going to be easier for me to see that you've measured it properly. So I'm going to go with the directions at this point. It says first to cream the butter in the large mixing bowl. So my job is to make sure that your butter is nice and soft for the creaming process. You could use the wooden spoon. You can see how nice and soft it is. Okay, it's just going to smush right against the bowl. So it already is nice and creamy. You can use your rubber scraper also, but you're going to see it's just going to all going to stick together until you get that sugar in there. All right, so it then says add your sugar. I'm going to pour my sugar in carefully. My egg. Try to get all that in. My vanilla small amount of vanilla and a little bit of milk, which is one tablespoon, and I'm going to cream that together. So another person at this point, either the head cook or assistant cook, would be putting the other ingredients in a medium-sized bowl, but I'm one person. I can only do one thing at a time. So you're going to make sure that that egg mixture gets all combined. Again, I like to use a rubber scraper, so I'm going to keep going back and forth put this on the counter. I want to smush that egg in and I like to just scrape it up as I go. Now this is a two-day recipe because you have to let your sugar cookie dough um, chill for at least 30 minutes to an hour. So if you were to make this at home, you want to just make sure that you chill it for 30 minutes to an hour. We're not here that long in school to be able to do that. So we do it in two days. Right? So it's all nice and creamy. Just kind of smush in any of those butter chunks. And then I'm going to go to my direction number three, which says in a medium-sized bowl, combine and stir together. I'm going to be careful. Combine and stir together the flour. The baking powder and the salt. table so underneath the wax paper is a little wet. Okay so combine just means to combine those ingredients together so I'm just going to use I have my wooden spoon just going to use the handle portion the end of the wooden spoon to combine it. If I walk around and see the baking powder on the top along with the salt I'm going to say did you combine? Okay so you should no longer see that. Right, then you're going to bring the two bowls together. It says to add the flour mixture from the medium bowl to your butter mixture in the large bowl. Okay, you're going to pop that in. Again, I like to use a rubber scraper. Okay, You're going to scrape the side of the bowl. You can go back and forth between the wooden spoon and the rubber scraper. Okay, You want to make sure you get all into it. Okay, So it's going to start forming a soft dough, and some of you are going to say, not forming together. It should be a nice soft dough. So give it some time. You can go back and forth. I'm going to go back to my wooden spoon. You see how I'm scraping all that dough off. You want to do it slowly. If I was to do this fast, all this flour is going to go all over the place. So I call it raking. Basically what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm moving the bowl. With my right hand, I'm just smushing it all together. I'm trying to get that butter in with the flour. So this is going to take some muscles and it is going to take some time. So I've got some muscles here, or at least I think I have some muscles here. All right, so you see it's starting to come together. 
don't know if on the video you can see it. You may start breathing heavy because it is a little bit of a workout too. So you see I'm lifting it up. Oh, there's still a little dry stuff. I'm going to go back to my rubber scraper. So don't let anybody take the wooden spoon or the rubber scraper as some of you are going to be cleaning up. I'm going to lift it all up. And I'm going to press it all together. So I still have some dry ingredients on the bottom. So it's not formed together until all the dough is sticky. There should be no dry ingredients on the bottom. So I'm not going to take this in my hands either. So again, sugar cookie dough, you're going to put on wax paper, and then you're going to flatten it slightly. So you see, hopefully you can see. Okay, so I have a bowl. It's all come together. There's nothing dry. All formed together. So it says to place dough in the middle of a piece of wax paper. Make sure you use a big enough piece of wax paper. I'm going to, again, I'm going to, I'm not taking this with my hands. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to flip it out, out of my bowl, scrape any of that. See, there's no dry ingredients. That's just batter there. Again, I want all this, so I'm going to, again, take my wooden spoon. Should not have all white, loose, crumbly batter at this point. This is pretty sticky right now. That's another reason why you have to let it sit and chill because it's sticky. If you were to roll it out, you're gonna, it's not going to work. Okay. I'm just taking it now. I'm not touching it. So now I'm just going to take and fold it like a present. Okay. So it's going to go like that. I'm going to take it like this and this, and then you're going to flatten it. Just flatten it slightly because it is a rolled cookie on day two. You're already flat. And then you're going to take your rolling pin and roll it out in all directions. Okay, so that's day one. At this point, you're going to hand it to your teacher, which is me, okay, and I'm going to label it with your period and group number, and then I'm going to show you how to roll it out for day two, okay? Okay, so here's day two of the sugar cookie. So my hair is up, I've washed my hands, I've also made sure that my uh, table or my surface is nice and clean. So the first direction is to lightly sprinkle flour on the counter or on a table. You, we're using the table. I, the table is fine. I've done this several times. Okay, your dough is going to be cold. It may crack a little too. So I'm going to lightly flour my surface. I'm going to open up my dough. And again, we flattened it on day one, so it's going to make it nice and easy. What I like to sometimes do too is also just put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. So I like to just use the pin and not the handles. I don't know why, okay, but it's just the way I like to do things. So you may notice that your dough may crack a little too if it is cold. So I'm just going to go from the center out in all directions. Now sugar cookie dough, you actually want, you know, pretty thick. You don't want it too thin or else your cookies are going to burn. I like sugar cookies nice and soft. So I do make them a little thicker. Whoops. And I'm starting to stick on my rolling pin. So I'm going to put a little bit of flour. Just roll from the center out. Doesn't matter what kind of shape you get. So we're going to try to use stars in the demo. I'm going to use stars depending on the time of the year. We'll use different kinds of cookie cutters. Too. So again, I'm still sticky. So then what I'm going to do is just lightly flour the top of that. Because it is Memorial Day this time of the year. If we were around St. Patrick's Day, we would use shamrocks, uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I have different uh, cookie cutters for all different holidays. Also pumpkins for Halloween, witches. So I'm going to say I'm good. If you go too thin, they're going to burn. All right. So I, I'm going to, I'm, gonna, I, I'm good here. Okay. It is cracked all around the edges. That's fine now. So somebody should roll out. And then what you're going to do, there's two sides. So like I said, we're going to use the star. The sharper side is where you're going to cut. You can also dip the star in. And you want to make your cookies as close as possible when you recut, because then you're not going to have to re-roll your scraps. Re-rolling your scraps toughens up your cookies. So you're, gonna, you're not going to start right in the middle. Somebody may, and I'll say, did I do that during my demo? So I'm going to go nice and close to the edge. 
Sometimes it may come right off like that, which means I'm going to place it on my cookie sheet. So let me just show you quickly. So I have a cookie sheet. You're going to be using uh, larger cookie sheets. I've also learned that using parchment paper works easy. It comes off easy too. Parchment paper usually replaces greasing a cookie sheet. This doesn't even call greasing a cookie sheet, but over time I said, let me try the parchment paper. It's just nice, easy cleanup, and it comes off of the paper too. It's totally different than wax paper. Wax paper cannot go into the oven. Parchment paper can. All right, so I'm just going to place that. Let me just get this so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to, they're going to spread out a little bit and they're going to rise from that baking powder too. So sometimes they may cut and come right out and this one is, so that person will just be doing that. If it doesn't, the other person, so I'm going to try not to have it. So you see how that one didn't come out. What I would grab is just a leveler. To lift that up and out. Now the, the, the thing with using the stars too is you want to be very careful because they are delicate because of the shape. So I'm going to pop them back into the flour. Again, I'm going to get as close as I can. You see how it's not coming out now? I'm going to do another one. Doing it nice and close. Another one. I'm only going to do one tray for the demo and then if I have time I'm going to show you what they should look like when they come out because this is being done during the school day and I have a class coming in to cook. I don't know if I'm going to have time. So those ones didn't come up. So again, another person can be taking them off. So I'm going to go three across. This is a smaller tray. I'm being nice and careful. That's the one that I put down. Okay. So what I'm going to do, you would have another cookie sheet also. So I have just colored crystals that are red, and then I have sprinkles that are red, white, and blue. Again, we're doing this for Memorial Day, so it's up to you. Somebody can be doing this portion, sprinkling a little. Try not to get it all over the parchment paper, because what I give you in the custard bowl is all you're going to get. So if you put it all on one cookie, that's going to be it because I have two classes and they did not have a lot of this in the store. Okay, so just to make it a red, you can take some of the sprinkles. Now the sprinkles tend to roll off, so you may have to press the sprinkles in a little bit too. So again, I like the sugar cookies to be a little bit thicker. You may get less cookies, but they're not going to burn. So usually they say sugar cookies are done when they're a little golden around the edge. I don't like them to even get golden around the edge. Okay, I take them out a little soon. Okay, then I let them continue to cook on the cookie sheet because that's going to keep them nice and soft. So when I bite into a cookie, even a day later, they're nice and soft. Okay, so I'll show you. So again, I'm one person here and I am kind of rushing. I don't have that much time. Somebody can be doing the sprinkles. I'm going to just do the sprinkles while I have them in my hand. You can do the sprinkles and the crystals. That's up to you and your group. Just like I see, if you see what I'm doing, I'm pressing them in a little and then I'm trying to get whatever is falling off. Somebody else is going to be re-rolling those scraps. So I'm just showing you one cookie sheet. What you would do, you would put these two that I cut on another cookie sheet. You would take your scraps re-roll it and you would cut some more. You want to remember the second time around though that your cookies are the same thickness too. You want them all to cook at the same rate. So again, try not to use the handles. It tends to you guys just kind of press into the dough too much. Be very gentle with it. And then the rest of them I'm just going to do the sprinkles quickly. There wasn't blue crystals so I just got red. Again, you get what you get and you don't get upset, let's say. So we're just trying to bring some color. You could put food dye into uh, the cookies too, but I tend to stay away from the extra food dye. Okay. So I believe it says we're going to cook them for 10 to 12 minutes. So this is what I do. We go five minutes. You're going to have two trays. You're going to go five minutes in your oven. 
Then you're going to switch and turn your tray. So you're going to have one on the top, one on the bottom. You're going to then, after five minutes, switch and then turn them. If I kept the cookies on the bottom the whole time, that batch is going to burn, okay, because it's very close to the heating source on the bottom there. The one drawback to using parchment paper, if you can see, it can slide right off and your cookies can slide right off too. Okay, so be very, very careful. So I'm going to put oven mitts on. I'm going to put my timer on for five minutes. I'm going to switch my tray and turn my tray and then I'm going to go another four or five minutes. I'll keep an eye on them and I'll, then I will show them when they are done baking, okay? I'm going to turn the camera off, then I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, so my cookies are in the oven and I've switched them and I've turned them and I put five minutes and then I put four minutes, okay? But it looks like they're done after eight minutes. I had to do my math there in my head for a moment. Let me do step five, six, seven, eight minutes, okay? So I have about one more minute here. I think I'm going to take them out. So you always want to make sure that you're going to put your oven mitts on because I notice that um, they are getting a little brown around the edge and that's not what I like. So you're going to remember to open the door all the way. You can't see me. I can't move the camera. I'm a one person show here. Okay, so this is what the cookies look like. When they come out, they did um, rise a little bit and they spread just a tad. They did start getting a little brown around the edges, so every oven is a little bit, bit different. So this was only eight minutes, okay? So I know using the stars, that's what it's gonna take. Maybe seven you wanna actually take it out at. Okay, so this is what people do. So again, remember that parchment paper, you wanna be very careful and hold that, all right? So this can actually, this hot uh, cookie sheet can go right on your surface and everybody usually takes those oven mitts off. You don't want to do that, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to leave your oven mitts on. Now, I'm trying to think. Sometimes I have them cool on the cookie sheet, but I actually took these out a little late, all right? So I'm going to take them off or they're going to continue to bake. So I'm going to have you guys probably going only six or seven minutes when you do this in class. So I'm right-handed, okay, I'm going to put the spatula in my right hand, my left hand, I'm going to hold the pan, because as you take the cookies off, the pan may move, you're going to go to grab it, if I didn't have my oven mitt on, okay, you're just going to automatically grab that hot cookie sheet and you're going to get burned, okay. So I'm going to just take these and what I have is I have wax paper underneath my cooling rack just to save for cleanup too, because you're going to be working right to the end of the period. I'm going to come right off of this parchment paper. They look beautiful. Whoops, they slide right off of the parchment paper, so that's what I'm talking about. Whoops, and sometimes they go right through, but they are still nice and soft, and they look beautiful. And my next class is going to come in and say, oh my God, what is that smell? And they're going to want some, but I'm probably not going to share that. Okay, so at this point, again, you're going to have two trays. It can go right here. You want to make sure the hot cookie sheet doesn't go on your wax paper. You also have a label table. Make sure it doesn't go on there also. And make it for nice, easy cleanup. This will just go in the garbage, and I will most likely take care of your cookie sheet. Okay, so that is sugar cookies for Memorial Day using um, star-shaped cookie cutters. Hopefully you will enjoy, and again, hopefully you're making things at home for your family and doing what you learn in class, uh, going home and making it for your own family or for yourself, okay? Happy cooking.